Hello all. Uh, this is a video request on installing Compiz in Arch Linux and uh, the steps to go through uh, implementing Compiz. And I just uh, outlined some things here to be aware of is uh, certain desktop environments uh, are Compiz friendly, <laughs> such, a, such as XFCE4, Mate, Mate, uh, GNOME, Fallback, and LXDE, uh, Notables or Cinnamon, not, no, uh, Openbox, uh, not really, and Gnome, uh, no. So, that's not all the desktops, of course, there's, I know there's other ones, but just to give you an idea. And the software, there's two um, uh, versions on the Arch Linux user repository, it's not in the default repositories, okay? In Pac-Man, so the series are uh, dot zero dot nine, the latest one I believe, or close to it, or the dot uh, zero dot eight. Uh, the zero dot nine series will uh, pretty much set up everything for you out of the box, so that's why I, uh, I suggest using that one. And the subsequent uh, optional packages, are just such as uh, Fusion Icon, again it has to be from the same series. And same with Emerald, if you want to use Emerald as the decoration and the themes, of course, if you want extra themes. And here are the links to the packages and uh, just a little, uh, if you want transparent menus. So, I'll just copy that and uh, tab. I'm, I'm Even though I'm at the Arch Linux user repository, I'll just go straight to the package. And we see it was updated uh, the 11th, November 11th, uh, 2015, and lots of stuff uh, to download uh, for compilation and so on. So uh, you can either uh, use something like uh, PAMAC, uh, Package Manager, or the command line uh, Yawart, uh, Arch Linux User Repository Helper. Or download the snapshot, which is what I'm going to do. And uh, just save it to wherever. I usually save it in my downloads folder. So I'll keep this open, of course, and just minimize them. Go to their, uh, our, wherever you down, downloaded it to. So in my case, it's download. And uh, it comes in a archive file. Just uh, with your archive manager, just drag it out to the same folder. Now, Compiz is uh, is quite um, intense as far as building the package. I would suggest, if you can, is open a terminal and sudo your favorite editor, such as Leafpad, Etsy, make package.conf. And it's not too hard to set up. You just go down to uh, make flags, okay? There'll be a comment like the, a hashtag. Just take that out and make flags equals dash J. And you just add one to how many uh, CPU cores you have. So if you have four, you just add, put J5. So it's one louder. <laughs> so in my case, I have six. So I just make it J7. Uh, depending on how much memory, uncomment uh, this build package directory. Temp um, make, make package. And then finally, uh, down to the compression XZ, you just add in a dash T and the number of cores. So again, six cores or four cores or two. It should help a little bit in uh, compilation. Okay. So with that said, uh, open a terminal inside wherever you downloaded it and extract the package. Open the terminal here. And you can do this all in one line uh, thanks to... Uh, a viewer, uh, Derek Mulder, mentioning this is make PKG and it's just S to uh, compile it, dash I to install, and dash C to clean up. So if you do all those, it'll do everything for you. You'll still be prompted to download and install though. So once you press enter, it will uh, download dependencies it wants to uh, for building and 
impromptu uh, to install a couple other packages and then it will proceed to download the Compiz 0.9 series and now we're going into the compilation which the uh, compiling uh, which can take quite a while um, as you can see here so instead of uh, making you watch this I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it's uh, finished alright so finally when it's finished that'll uh, confirm to install just press enter because it's uh, you see here it's a capital Y uh, so just press enter and, and it will install and it says cleaning up and uh, XR XProp to grab various window properties for use in window matching rules so I already have that installed all right, and let's move on to the next uh, package that we can get. Uh, let's see. Oop, nope. Uh, notes here. Uh, here we go. Um, Decomp editor. Make sure you have that installed through Pacman. So sudo pacman dash capital S uh, decomp dash editor. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. So I'm going to hit no. But if you don't have it installed, make sure that's installed and then we'll get the fusion icon which will make it a lot easier to change between your uh, desktop window manager um, compiz with GTK or compiz uh, with emerald if you choose to install that so the next one is the fusion icon so I'll just uh, copy that link and we'll go back to our browser and paste that in the address bar and we'll, again, I'll download the snapshot package, and this won't take long at all. And remember too, uh, to do this in this order because uh, Fusion Icon will not install un until you have Compiz installed. So there's the Fusion Icon uh, compressed file. So again, same same thing, just uh, extract it and same idea exactly so open a terminal in here make pkg dash s and install and clean up more dependencies and it's done it's very quick not as long as the uh, comp is uh, compilation so now we have fusion icon whatever you're using for a menu you can uh, sort through it or just uh, type fusion icon and give it a second and see everything's flashing and comp is, is indeed uh, turned on as you can see my menu now uh, has like a pop out effect and if you right click on the icon down here if I can zoom in on it oh no I don't I don't have desktop zoom so you gotta right click and click select settings manager as you can uh, I'll show you what's already set up for your uh, desk wall um, important things are reg matching place windows move window resize window uh, switch applications and of course the decorator which is uh, GTK dash dash replace and you notice it's already uh, switched to uh, it's using the new mix theme that's because uh, I specified that in the decomp editor uh, so you, once you install that open that up and um, let's go to arc okay hold on a sec let me go back to the uh, settings first I'm sorry settings manager and let's set up a desktop zoom so enhanced desktop zoom is going to ask you for reg uh, pulling the mouse position pulling and then since I have the super key for my menu, I change these uh, this button from super button four to shift. Press OK, and this same zoom in and zoom out the same. So now I can zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So where were we? All right. So we're at org. Uh, Gnome. Metacity. And there it is. There's the theme. Default is Ad Adwaita. So I copy. Oh dear. Compiz does that. Control C. <laughs> and I click once and 
hit that, it'll go to the Gnomish uh, default theme. So again, single click and whatever your def uh, default theme, sometimes it'll pick it up and work fine. Like New Mix works really well with it, but other um, themes may not work at all. And they, they might appear to work uh, in the beginning, but when you if you restart or log out, uh, it, it may not look so great. So only certain themes will work with the GTK theme. Uh, if you don't like the limitations of that, you can get the uh, Emerald package 09 series again. So back to our web browser. I'll paste that link in. And... Wait, there it is. So, very simple. Download the snapshot. And uh, open our downloads folder. Same drill, Emerald. Extract that. And make package again zoom in mk dash s i c and continue installing and you can get the emerald dash themes as well okay so now we have a, a choice between the gtk theme or using emerald for the uh, decoration. So that's, in a nutshell, Compiz uh, 09 series. So that should do for this one, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.